Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing three of my favorite crock pot recipes. All of these recipes are seriously so delicious. I know you guys are going to love them. I have something for seriously every taste bud. I have a soup recipe which is packed with so much flavor. I'm going to be sharing my chicken tortilla soup with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing like a shrimp boil that you can do in the crock pot. It is seriously so easy to make. And I'm also going to be sharing some steak fajitas in the crock pot. All these recipes are super simple to make. They require minimal ingredients. They're super flavorful. It's one of those things you can just pop in the crock pot in the morning before you go to work. I personally like to chop everything up the night before, so that way in the morning I could just pop everything in the crock pot, let it cook, and you have dinner ready for you guys. So we're gonna get right into the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, and let's get started. All right, guys, so the first recipe we are gonna be cooking up is this delicious white chicken chili. It is seriously so delicious. It has so much flavor. You can definitely chop up all these ingredients the night before to make it a lot easier. So you can just toss it in in the morning before work, but it really doesn't require that much prepping. I am just starting off by chopping an onion and then you're gonna go ahead and put your chicken at the bottom of the crock pot and you're gonna add all of your seasonings. I will leave the exact recipe down in the description box for you guys, but I'm just adding some salt, some black pepper, some cumin, oregano, chili, powder cayenne pepper i told you guys this recipe was packed with tons of flavor i'm also adding a can of some corn some green chili some fresh cilantro and then you want to add some chicken broth which is going to be at the base of this soup you guys this is a recipe that i know you all will love so i cooked mine on high for four hours but you can definitely do it on low for eight hours and you just take the chicken out once it's been cooking for about four hours and then i just shredded it with two forks so it was super simple and then you're gonna add that chicken back in there and then only thing you have to do now is add your cream cheese and some half and half cream and let it cook for an additional like 15 20 minutes and it is all done you guys will have the best white chili soup you've ever had now for the second recipe this one is so good too so we are going to be making some steak fajitas I wanted to share with you guys two different ways you can make them you can put it on tacos which is my favorite way or you can also serve this on a bed of lettuce if you are watching your carbs so for this recipe you're going to need two peppers you can choose any color you want I went with a yellow and red because that's what I had on hand and you need 12 ounces of a protein you can do chicken as well I love doing steak it is so good I'm using sirloin steak so I just chopped that up I'm also putting the onion in the crock pot you guys this is seriously the simplest recipe to make and then I use fajita seasoning it doesn't really matter what brand you use I also add some water and some olive oil into the crock pot And I like my food super flavorful, so I did go in and add some salt, some pepper, some garlic, and also some fresh garlic. And you guys, this is how it looks before it cooks. I cooked it on high for four hours, but you can also cook it on low for eight hours. And here is how it turned out. It made so much of this delicious juice. It was so flavorful and so tender. It seriously was so good. I chose to have mine on tacos with a little bit of some corn and some beans, and I put some fresh guacamole on top but you also can have it on a bed of lettuce and it is just as good. So this recipe I think is my favorite. I know I've said this about every single one, but this one is one I probably will cook the most often. It is so delicious, you guys. So this is my crock pot Cajun kind of shrimp boil. It is so simple to make. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna chop up all of your ingredients. So you're gonna need some green onions. You're gonna need a pepper. It can be any color you have on hand. I had an orange one on hand. You're also gonna need an onion as well. Once you have your sausage chopped up, I picked mine up from Aldi's. It's just some beef sausage sausage go ahead and spray the bottom of your crock pot with some cooking spray and make sure the sausage is at the bottom of the crock pot so it can get nice and crispy and then you add your peppers and your onions and then you're going to go ahead and chop up your potatoes I personally love to keep the skin on my potatoes I find that it has so much more flavor but if you are not a skin kind of person you can definitely shred them and then I'm adding some onion powder I'm using some Cajun seasoning I'm also using some Italian seasoning and then you want to make sure you get some crab 
oil seasoning. I will link the exact brand that I used. It makes the world of a difference. And now you just have to let the crock pot do the work for you. Let it cook for about four hours. But before you do that, give it a nice toss. Don't disturb the sausage at the bottom because you want that to get crispy. Now that it has been cooking for four hours on high, I'm giving it a toss and then I'm gonna add the pound of shrimp. The shrimp only takes 15 minutes. So once you add the shrimp, you just have to let the recipe cook for an additional 15 minutes. So this Cajun crock pot shrimp boil is all done. I like to top mine with green onion. I think it gives it some additional flavor and also a really good crunch. This recipe tastes amazing served on a bed of rice. I strongly recommend that if you're gonna have it for the first time. I later went to go add some rice because I thought I could do it without rice, but it is just so good with the rice. Okay guys, that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing some of my favorite fall crock pot recipes. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite recipe I shared in this video. I don't know about you guys, but I love crock pot recipes in the fall time because we have shorter days and longer nights and I don't like to be in the kitchen for too long. So these are seriously perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be seeing you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye. Bye.